a lot of my work is about becoming animal and trying to get as close as I can or actually physically embody it somehow. So becoming animal, I feel, is something I've trained myself to do. And looking back historically, it's something that, that shamans do. Um, by becoming animal, they can access um, knowledge and understanding of, um, of, of different worlds and uh, they can access answers to very specific problems in, in their own communities. Thanks very much for coming. <laughs> Welcome to Rose's Flat. Um, I'm going to do a journey. I'm going to go down to the lower world. Um, and on your behalf, I will talk to animal spirits and glean any information I can from them. I kind of just imagine myself, I close my eyes and I imagine myself going down through a hole in the ground and travelling down in, into the centre of the earth and into a very, very separate state or place. And then I sit there for a while and I wait for things to come to me. And if nothing come, happens, which often is the case, I call out and I, I, uh, I mimic birds and I call out to animals and birds and try and summon <clears throat> animals and birds up and try and get them to do things. So I might do a, a moorhen call, which is like a brr, brr. Um, and then I might see a moorhen and I might converse with it. <clears throat> and this is, nothing really usually happens with the moorhen, it just sort of walks off and I go on to the next bird and the next animal. And eventually, usually, some animal does something quite specific and special. I think there might have been a kestrel, that one. Look at that, Chris. There we go. Oh, yeah. Take this out, Not a kestrel? Probably. Yeah, it's a kestrel. Huh? Is that a kestrel? Oh, I think it's a kestrel. Yeah, the, the piece that we take is a, is a film called The Plover's Wing. And it's about the, well, it's about the Israeli-Palestinian crisis. And it's, it's a subject I don't know a lot about, really. Um, and I went to Israel and had a meeting with this mayor of uh, the city called Holon. He asked me this question about the crisis. And I endeavoured to answer this question or find some insight into this question for him. And I, in front of him, I put everything into it. I saw, mainly I saw the plover, or a, or a, a green plover, sometimes called a lapwing or a peewit. I saw it doing its characteristic behaviour. It nests on the ground and it, it uh, had a broken wing, or was pretending to have a broken wing, and it was leading me away from the nest. And I knew that's kind of a default position for it. It's, it always does that when it feels threatened or has a predator near the nest. And I knew I wasn't a threat to this bird, but it was just seeing everything as a threat, I think. What the bird represents here is the idea of identifying with a certain position, identifying with a victim position. Something that he thinks that the 
ציפור מייצגת איזושהי עמדה, והיא עמדה, עמדה של פגיעות. הוא אומר, ויקטם של מי שפגעו בו. Do you have any questions for me? Cheers.